241. Thank you, Madam Chair. Members, uh, just quickly, I will uh, just do a quick background. Um, last, early last year, a consortium of uh, environmental organizations brought forward a letter to the Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, this um, was actually prefaced by the same consortium bringing lawsuit uh, years earlier to the Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, the agency then uh, reacted to that around uh, the question about nitrates and groundwater in southeast Minnesota uh, and uh, sent a letter to uh, the state of Minnesota uh, urging the state of Minnesota to do more. I have included in your packet, Madam Chair and members, uh, the, um, the three agency letter of the Department of Agriculture, Department of Health and Department of uh, the MPCA um, and their response then, it's a three-phased response as you see on the cover letter, the front page, and uh, I'm guessing this committee doesn't want to go into a lot of detail about that, uh, but they are requiring uh, farmers and agriculture in southeast Minnesota eventually uh, to even step up beyond, Madam Chair, the, the uh, excellent practices that farmers have in our part of the state as they do in the rest of the state. Uh, farmers in Minnesota protect the water better than they have in the history of our state and country right now. Uh, but they are even being told and asked uh, through these actions uh, to do even more. So our options at this point uh, legislatively, if we do anything uh, in addition to what the agencies are doing, Madam Chair, amount to we can either provide a carrot uh, for farmers in these targeted areas with uh, geology that is um, uh, more conductive to the groundwater than the geology in the rest of the state is. Um, so uh, certainly the farmers that farm on that geology uh, farm as well as the farmers that are not on that geology, uh, but um, they're, they happen to be on a geology that, that provides a different set of circumstances. So we can provide a carrot or a stick this is a small carrot. That's what we have in front of us. I'll run through the bill, and then Mr. Lorry uh, can talk on behalf of a consortium of ag organizations that support the bill. Thank you, Senator Gaskowski. If you would start with Section 1. Section 1 just goes through the eligibility of the program. It's, um, it's eligible to the people who, in uh, eight counties in southeast Minnesota, uh, enroll in and for a, a period of 10 years are part of the agriculture water quality cred, uh, program, which is included in a chapter of law. It's an existing 10-year program that has been running and you'll see in the notes uh, from, the, um, from the revenue note, you'll see the number of farmers that are enrolled both statewide and in Southeast Minnesota. It's a $5 credit. Um, and that's included in section one, the credit per, reimbursement. Per acre. What's that? Five dollars per acre. Five dollars per yeah. acre credit. Um, and you'll see in, uh, in the bottom of page one there uh, that uh, the county auditor is involved through uh, and with the Department of Revenue in uh, carrying this out and coming up with the credit. Uh, section 270C.85, Madam Chair, is the section of law that uh, gives the powers and duties to commissioner of the Department of Revenue. Uh, the payments then are done in a bimodal way uh, through uh, the Department of, or, or through the Department of Revenue and the county auditors. Uh, you'll see under subdivision four on line uh, 2.7, where on October 31st and December 26th, the payments are made on behalf of all municipalities impacted except for school districts. 2.12 through 2.15 outline the fact that uh, Department of Revenue and Department of Education provide for the school district reimbursements. Uh, the appropriation then is outlined uh, after that. Uh, you will see then under section two uh, that uh, reference are provided in the reimbursement to school district section and uh, section three uh, directs the department to include that in the computation of, of property taxes. Section four. So uh, this then, is not something you have to apply for. It is an automatic um, uh, calculation by the auditor. It is to reduce the property tax. Yes, and the and the qualification is determined in advance with the county auditor of the Minnesota Department of Re uh, Revenue and the in the Minnesota Department of Agriculture, Madam Chair. Thank you. Um, and then um, 
And then the last two sections provide that it is referenced in the truth and taxation hearing notice and on the tax statement. So Mr. Lori's here, Madam Chair. Okay, any, um, any questions? 